something special about you. And I'm gonna really like you. It's not a lot of guys are worth my time. Uh -huh. What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Lizelle and for today's video, this one is actually really, really long overdue. I've had quite a few requests for quite some time now asking me to do a no makeup makeup look. So that's what I'm finally doing for you guys today, complete with the dark under eye circles. I've really come to embrace the darkness underneath my eyes and also the freckles that I have going on in my eye. Like I'm all for it lately. I don't know what's come over me, but I just am all about that natural kind of vibe. So even though I say this is a no makeup makeup look, typically for me, a no makeup makeup look just consists of brows and lashes. I wouldn't go in with the rest of the stuff that I'm showing you guys today, but I felt like that wasn't enough for a video for me to just show you how I do my brows and put some lashes on for a look like this. So if you're looking for a makeup look that is super natural yet makes you look put together, then you are probably going to find this one helpful. If you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And also if you're new, you know what to do, join the crew by hitting the little red subscribe button down below. And also don't forget to hit the little notification bell so you don't miss any more videos that I post. I had to pin my hair back just because I didn't want to annoy you guys if I was going to keep playing with it. So I feel kind of weird right now, but let's get into it. So first things first, of course, I have already cleansed and moisturized my skin, applied my eye cream and all that. And now I'm going to go in with primer. Now, my current favorite primer is this one by Face of Australia. This is their face base primer. You can, of course, just use whatever primer you're currently into. But I really like this one just because my skin... Um, reacts to it well. It has vitamin E and chamomile in it. Next up, I'm going in with the Anoxa Pure Silk Skin Primer. I mainly focus this primer around my nose and T-zone area where my pores are most visible. And I use this purely just to smooth out that area of my face. So now when it comes to a no makeup makeup look, I'm not gonna sit here and pull out 37 products to show you guys to apply to your face. But if you have any discoloration or blemishes like I do, my skin is a little bit red and I do have like slight um, redness from scarring and stuff going on, then spot concealing is going to be your best friend. Now what I like to use for that is this. This is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer and let me show you guys real quick. I got a brand new one and I'm about to dip my brush into that. Look how smooth that looks right there. I don't know why, but it's so satisfying to open a new makeup product and use it for the first time. So yes, this is what I like to use to spot conceal any of the discoloration and scarring that I have going on. I do find that you need to use this sparingly because it is a very full coverage concealer and it's really easy to go from zero to 100 real quick. So the brush that I use to spot conceal is this. This is the Sigma F64 soft blend concealer brush and essentially I just take a little bit on the brush just a small amount to start off with and I will go into any areas that I feel like need just to be evened out a little bit so as you guys can see the technique that I like to use when covering up any type of blemish is I will go straight into it first apply the most amount of product straight onto the blemish, what, whatever it may be. And then I will just continue to blend it into the skin and work it out. And then as you can see, I just continue to blend with stippling motions. I also like to go over my nose a little just because I find that around my nose is where I carry a lot of redness in my skin. So I just take a little bit of concealer to that area just to even everything out a little more. As you guys can see, spot concealing really has helped to even out my skin tone. And even though it doesn't look perfect because you still can see some of my imperfections showing through. I actually like how it looks like that. Next up, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some powder over top just to quickly set that concealer in place. So I'm just gonna be using the Bare Minerals Original Powder Foundation. You guys know that I use this pretty much every single day, but I'm not gonna go as heavy with it today as I usually do. So I'm just gonna take whatever is in the cap and I'm using the Sigma F30 Large Powder Brush. I'm just gonna swell my brush around in there like so and I'm just going to go ahead and pat that onto my face. This powder does have a little bit of color to it. If you guys are wondering, the color that I use is W15. W15? Actually, they changed the name. It's light number eight. But yeah, like I was saying, this powder does have a little bit of color to it, so it will kind of help to, again, even out your skin tone. But what I'm mainly using it for is just to set that concealer in place so it doesn't shift around on my oily skin. 
I just need to apply some lip balm because my lips are looking super dry. Don't forget to apply lip balm, guys. So if you guys know me, you know that at this point I would normally go in and go ham with some under eye concealer because as you can see, I do carry a fair bit of darkness underneath my eyes because I... I don't sleep. <laughs> Today, however, I'm not going to do that. I'm pretty much done with my base as it is. So I'm just gonna go in quickly with some bronzer. This is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Give Me Sun. And I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly bronze up my face a little just to give it some life and color. Nothing too crazy though, you just wanna keep it light. So I'm just going ahead and running some of that bronzer over my cheeks, around my temples and hairline. And it's just gonna give me a nice sun-kissed glow. I'm just giving my lashes a quick curl because with this look, even though I don't have anything going on on the eyes, I still do like to go in with mascara. And most of the time I do like to go in with a pair of falsies as well. So for mascara, I'm using the Tarte Lights Camera Splashes Mascara. This is the waterproof version. So you know that it is going to stay put all day long. I'm just going in with a fairly light coating, nothing too crazy. And then like I said, I am going to be going in with falsies, whether I'm doing a full beat glam face or just something super light not even any makeup at all what I like to go in with are these these are the Ardell Wispies I always get so many questions from people asking me what lashes I'm wearing and 99% of the time this is them so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply those and as you can see they are long and wispy, but super natural. I feel like applying falsies even with a no makeup makeup look just makes you look more put together and awake. So that is why I like to do it. But if you don't want to go in with falsies, you can just stick to your mascara. I just realized that I'm pretty much done. Like this is all I do for a no makeup makeup look. I'm just gonna quickly go in and spritz my face with some of the Mario Badescu facial spray. This is going to ensure that everything is nicely settled into the skin and then that is is pretty much everything done. So there we have it guys, that's pretty much everything when it comes to this no makeup makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're still here at the end watching and you're not yet subscribed to my channel, you know what to do. Click the little red button down below before you go so you don't miss any more videos that I post. As usual, I will leave a list of everything I used in the video down in the description box below where you can also find all of the links to my social media accounts. So if you guys wanna keep up with me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, it's all down below. With that being said, I hope you guys are having a fabulous week. I will talk to you in the comments and I'll see you in my next video. I'm